Hello, programmers. Dan McElroy here. I'm teaching two programming courses, Fall 2024. C++ Programming, CIS 54, Section 101, and Java Programming, CIS 084, Section 102. This presentation covers two drop dates for the classes I'm teaching this semester. As the instructor for the class, it is my responsibility to provide course material for the classes I teach, evaluate students' work by grading assignments, and keep track of students who are participating and drop those who are not. I'm not trying to get anyone to drop the class by discussing these dates. I just want everyone to know how college classes work. I am dedicated to support you in your journey to learn computer programming. Every class on campus has two important dates as far as dropping a class. You can drop near the beginning of a class and nothing will show on your school records or transcript. The second date is near the end of the class. If you drop by that date, a W will show up on your records and transcript indicating that you signed up for the class and withdrew before the class was completed. After that second date has passed, you are not permitted to withdraw from the class, and the instructor is required to give you a letter grade based on your completed work. Drop dates are based on a percentage of the number of days the class is taught. The Fall 2024 C++ Programming class is a full semester class with 16 weeks of instruction. It starts on August 26 and ends on December 12. The Java programming class is a late start class and is only 14 weeks long. It starts on September 9 and also ends on December 12. This presentation only covers the drop dates for the classes I am teaching. There are other late start classes on campus that may have different start dates and different number of weeks. If you have other late start classes, you need to get the drop dates for those classes from the instructors who teach those classes. If you need, you can drop the C++ C++ programming class by September 8 and nothing will show in your transcript. If you drop by November 13, a W will show in your transcript, indicating that you signed up for the class and did not complete it. You are not able to drop the class after November 13 and a letter grade A, B, C, D, or F will be submitted based on your completed work. The Java programming class is shorter in length than the C++ C++ programming class and has different dates for dropping. If you need, you can drop the CIS 84-102 Java programming class by September 27 and nothing will show on your transcript. If you drop by November 19, a W will show on your transcript indicating that you signed up for the class and did not complete it. You are not able to drop the class after November 19. There is another full semester section of CIS 84 Java programming this semester that has a different start date and different dates for dropping that class from the section I am teaching. I realize that things come up in people's lives and that sometimes a class needs to take a back seat to other priorities. If for any reason you are not able to continue the class, it is your responsibility to drop by one of the drop dates. Don't get a bad or terrible grade by just fading away. I am required to submit a grade you personally earn through your submitted work. Once you have shown some commitment to the class by attending, participating in quizzes, labs, or homework, I assume that you wish to be in the class. An instructor may drop you if it appears that you are not participating and submitting regular coursework. Although I may drop you, it is really your responsibility to drop the class if you do not wish to continue. If you do not complete the course and do not officially withdraw through the admissions office and are not dropped by the instructor, you still receive a grade based on your completed work. Here is something else important. San Jose City College does not automatically give a refund if you drop a class at the beginning of a semester. You are the one who must apply for the refund before the date to drop with a no W. Otherwise, you may not get any money back. It is my understanding that you need to drop by that first drop date to have a refund request approved. Another date is also important. 
graduation petitions for fall 2024 are due in the Office of Admissions and Records by October 11. Another date is December 20, 2024. Grades for the fall 2024 semester are available in self-service by that date. A note of caution. If you are receiving financial aid, veterans benefits, or are an international student, consult the appropriate office to determine any effect dropping a course will have on status both here and at other colleges and universities. Some financial aid programs want their money back if you start receiving aid and then drop a course. Other times, financial aid has been cut off for future semesters if you get financial aid and don't follow through with your educational progress. If you are dropped in the middle of the semester, it is difficult and it is a lot of paperwork to get back in. A lot of people all the way from the instructor, the dean, the vice president of academic affairs, and then the registration office all need to get involved. Sometimes it takes a week or more to get back in the class and you may be way behind by then. Make sure that you submit your work on a regular basis and maintain regular participation to avoid being dropped by the instructor. The official SJCC statement on drops confirms what has already been said, but also provides some additional information. You are only permitted to sign up for a course and drop three times. If you have signed up for a class and dropped it three times, you won't be permitted to sign up for that class again. What I'm really asking is that you help yourself out and help me out if you really need to drop my class or any other class. On a happier note, I really do look forward to having you in the class. See you at the next video. Dandolph, signing off for now.